Hello and welcome to this tutorial. My name is Lewis Jelly. I'm the cinematographer for Storm and Shelter based in Cardiff Bay and I also do a lot of the colour correction and colour grading here too. Recently I've been grading a lot of projects that for whatever reason haven't shot a grey card or in some circumstances haven't been white balanced properly in camera. Uh, this can happen a lot in documentary scenarios whereby it's sometimes more important just to get the shot itself rather than worry about what the white balance is. The first thing I do before any other real colour corrections is to try and get my white balance looking correct. Otherwise you spend the rest of the grade sort of fighting against it and trying to correct what you could have corrected earlier on. Um, I'm going to try and show with you the quickest and most effective way that i found to white balance your shots and get them looking good inside of DaVinci Resolve. It might not be 100% perfect but it should get you close uh, and that should really help with matching shots between cameras or between cuts in a sequence. I just want to point out quickly that this method only really works if you've got objects in your shot that are a neutral colour, like grey or something near middle grey, or light grey or a darker grey, basically anything that doesn't have a colour on it per se. Um, I might do another tutorial in the future about what to do if you don't have something like this in your scene, um, but for now I'm just going to focus on this particular method because I think it's pretty neat and it's quite a quick one just to show you, so let's get to it. So I'm here in the colour workspace of DaVinci Resolve 14 Studio. Uh, the method that I'm going to show you will work in the free version as well as any of the older or newer versions. This is a test clip that I shot last week using the Arri Alexa Mini uh, in Log C. Um, I was in a bit of a hurry with the white balance, uh, didn't have too much time to shoot this particular clip and so I sort of just took a look outside and thought, ah, daylight, balance to 5600 and went ahead and shot. Um, so now that I've got it back into the grade, I can see that we're looking a bit cold, to be honest, um, and I'd quite like to balance that out before I'd go ahead and do any real grades. So in this first node, what I've done is just noise reduced my clip, um, and the reason that I've done that is because it sort of cleans up the signal and gets it into a good place for starting. Um, if you only have the, the free version of DaVinci Resolve, don't worry about this so much. Um, you can still do this technique without it. I just like doing it because it's something that I've got into a habit of doing, and I prefer to work this way. Um, so what you need to do is look for something that's sort of like a neutral grey in your scene. So I'm looking at this clip and for example I can see that this shutter over here is kind of like a grey colour and also this door over here. Um, I'm going to pick the door because I think that it's uh, a slightly larger area to work with and it probably has less of a sort of gradient on it, sort of quite a flat sort of grey colour. So that's what I'm going to work with. So what you want to do is go over and create a new serial node and then go down into the window tools and choose custom polygon and then what you're going to do is just simply draw a rectangle around the door that you've chosen or the grey object whichever it is and then what you want to do is go on to highlight and just click on that and what you can see is that it's just highlighted the area of grey that you've selected using the window tool. Looking at this I can see that on the parade or on the waveform the blue channel is higher than the green and red channels and to get that balanced and to make this door grey, what we're going to need to do is bring up the red and bring down the blue so that everything sort of evens out and you get a sort of nice grey tone. So to do this, you want to go over to Curves and make sure you selected Custom Curves and also make sure that your curves are uh, linked. Click on that one. And then you want to use the Colour Picker tool or the I think it's the Qualifier. Yep, use the Qualifier tool if you haven't already got that selected. And simply just click in the area inside the window that you've selected. And as you can see, it's created four points on your curve. One for red, one for green, one for blue, and one for luma. Now, when I go to do a balance, I usually leave the green and the luma alone because they are pretty much where they should be. And it's usually just the balance of the red and the blue that you want to try and fix. So what you do is you go over and select either the red or the blue. I'm going to do blue first in this instance. And looking at your waveform over here, you want to click on your point on the blue curve and just move it vertically downwards until it overlaps the green. There we go, somewhere around here. And then what you want to do is go over to the red, select red, and then go over and move this one upwards. And there we go. I'm just gonna fiddle this one slightly to make sure that I'm happy with how it's looking. I think it's pretty good. Is the red going slightly up, down a bit, up a bit? There we go. And when you're happy with it, you'll see that not only is your waveform balanced, so the 
red, green, and blue channels have sort of all blended together into like a white kind of tone. Uh, you'll also see that the highlight area that you've got from the window that you've selected also looks pretty balanced as well. If you're looking at it after doing your correction and you're thinking, oh, that's still looking pretty blue or that's looking pretty red, you probably want to take another look at your curves because it means that that's still not quite neutral. Um, so click the highlight tool after you've done that and what you'll see is you've still got this area that you've white balanced, however, it will just be that door for the time being. So you go back over to your window tools and click the custom polygon again, the same one that you drew before. And there you go. What we've done there is just apply the uh, apply the effect across the, the whole frame. And that's pretty much as easy as it is. I mean, uh, see, I can sort of toggle on before and after. And you can see what we've done. Um, it's not too obvious in the log, to be honest, but then what I've got here is a compound node that contains the rest of the color grade that I did. Um, so I'll just activate that and turn that on. Okay, so that shot's looking pretty neutral, if you ask me. Um, what I can show you is if I go on to the if I go on to the white balance node and activate and deactivate that. Let me just put this into full screen quickly. There we go. So if I go before and after, you can really see that it's really helped to balance the whole shot out. And then you can go ahead and do any other corrections that you want to do. This technique doesn't just work for doors. I've used it on uh, like roads, like tarmac, for example. Um, anything else like uh, thick items of grey clothing, um, cars, you know, you name it. Anything that's sort of neutral in colour, this should roughly work with. Um, let me know how you get on in the comments. Uh, if you found a different way of getting to the same place, I'd love to hear about it. Um, like I said before, I might do a tutorial about how to balance when there's no grey in the scene. Uh, so let me know if you think that would be helpful. Um, be sure to follow Storm and Shelter on social media to have a look at what we get up to. And uh, I'll see you in the next one.